What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dalbex, and we're here with a tale tale, the Walking Dead game series. Um, I'm not, and I haven't played this game since it first came out. I think I got like one or two episodes in. I don't remember shit. <laughs> um, but I want to get back into it. I want to play it. Um, a lot of a lot playing these games to where like you know your choices matter and stuff like that. Um, have all, already made a pretty big uh, impact in the gaming world, and I kind of want to join it in my own way. Um, I kind of I've already played Detroit Become Human. I've played um, the Wolf Among Us, I believe it was called, and I did the Batman Telltale game. I think the Batman one was like the last one before the before these types of games weren't playable anymore. So. I, and I'm a really big fan of The Walking Dead. I know a lot of people have kind of stopped watching the series. And the books are actually still continuing, if I remember correctly. But I wanted to play the game. I haven't played it in years. So, we're just going to relax and play some video games. And you guys get to watch. So, here we go. Let's get it. Yeah. I think, was it Skybound that does it? The Walking Dead. I think it's Skybound or Telltale that doesn't exist anymore. I forget which one it is. Episode 1 A New Day. Mr. Lee! Howdy, sir. Are, are we in Georgia? I think we're in Georgia still. I think this takes place. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Quatch, quatch, quatch. Uh, you know what to say about reckoning? Why do you think that? Why do you say that? Does it really matter? Uh, does yeah. it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Uh, I don't even remember what we're going to jail for. <laughs> Come on, looks like, uh, 1091C, here, Pika 3X, 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for 91C in the area. 91? I don't know what that means. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh, what, do what do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Exactly. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Oh, yeah, years. he's a teacher. Not anymore. You meet your <laughs> wife in Athens? What did he do? You want to know he, how I see did he, it? Did he beat her? Uh, oh, it's starting, sure. isn't it? Yeah, it's starting. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he doesn't, he don't, Regardless, like, yeah, shut up. could be you just married the wrong woman. Did he beat her? I don't... I think you beat her. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. There goes he was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. <laughs> Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Fussy now, baby. Him, he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, <laughs> and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, mama it's Why? all a big <laughs> mistake. It wasn't me. Uh, so did he, so do? Did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. 
stabbing oh. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. That's it. it goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and yo, a bit more yo, hilarious yo, yo, yo. if I yo, do say so. Watch out! This other time. <laughs> It's been so long since I played this game. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah, fuck. My leg. Well, you gotta climb out now. Yeah, he's not alive. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. He's not. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> he wasn't ejected from the car. Oh, he. They pulled him out. Uh, Unless he broke uh, out. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, he's on the while he was in the I back need seat. need to drag myself out that window. Oh. I don't know why I need to look at the handcuffs. Just jump out. Uh, uh, come on! Come on, mate! Yeah, see, he dragged himself out. Shit. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Well, just can you at least grab the shell first? Uh, 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 grab, it. Uh, grab it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, cool. Cuckoo, cool, cool, cachoo. Officer? Officer? <laughs> he at least could have used it as a walking stick. Coming. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. It's right next to his face too. <laughs> Got it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And then the other one. Come on. Officer. Oh my god. Holy shit! Yes, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Okay, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Grab the shotgun, grab the shotgun, grab the shotgun! Get away from me! Grab the gun! Yeah, the talking's gonna work. Grab it! Put the thing in. Oh shit, really? Come on, guys. Grab the fucking. Don't make me do this! Um, oh. Okay. <sighs> Ew. Alright. Hey! Yeah. No! Help! Go get 
someone! There's been a shooting! Was that Clementine? Uh... <laughs> All right, time ah. Really? Come on. At ah. least could have grabbed the shotgun before you ran. <laughs> Soundtrack for you. <laughs> come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come over. One, two, three. Ooh, the mother is. Oh, God. In a wagon. Hello? Anybody? Uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Hello? I come up to clubhouse. Anybody up there? Treehouse. Treehouse, clubhouse, same thing. Tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Oh my gosh. Shut up, Lee. Help! Yeah. Stop screaming help! Oh my god, I swear. Yep. Oh. I get he doesn't know this, but come on. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Just say you're carving over a bridge. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Oh, oh my god. Don't shoot. I'm not a robber. I just I just need some help. I fell. And I hurt myself. Ah Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Blood equals bad These news. People might need more help than I do. What's funny is that the guy that uh fake damn. <laughs> What's funny is that the guy that voice acts Lee voice actor for Lee is actually one of my favorite people. Um I gotta remember his name. But you hear him a few times in certain games, and I think he was in an animated movie one time, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. Three new messages. Three. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, uh, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back Clementine. in time before your spring break. Clementine! Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. Really? They're not letting us leave and it? aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 651 AM. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn. That sucks. Dad. 
Daddy? Huh? What? Uh, excuse me? I'm gonna, even though I heard a voice, I'm gonna check. Oh, the cabinet! What's that? Nothing. What's that? Ooh, walkie. Oh, that was the walkie. Damn, let's talk. Dad, it's me! It's Lee! Oh, wait, Hello? she wouldn't, yeah, she wouldn't. Know. You need to be quiet. Oh, house! Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. That's not... Uh... Her dad's bit, man. I doubt the mom made it out. Uh... What's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Lee! Uh... How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> where are your parents? She's 37? Damn. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh... Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. That's pretty smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Clementine! Gross. Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh Oh come on! Really? Oh dear god! That's twice! Oh shit. Ew, 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 get up, 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 did. Yep, she did. <laughs> Whew. Man. Excuse me. Hi there. Hi there. I don't mind all this blood. It's not mine. Did you kill it? D um, yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Aww. Aww. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh... Get out of here before it gets we dark. need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. The last time I played this, we got to. When did I? I don't remember. I think I had gotten to a Walmart, not a Walmart, but like a like a like a, a liquor store or something, and then uh, left. I think that was it. Oh, man, <laughs> I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. Mama this sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Yeah, cause that matters. <clears throat> What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. 
What if my parents come home? Um, they won't. Not. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Probably what I should have said. I mean, <clears throat> the kids are gonna have to grow up in this world. Hey, man! So I'd rather not. Holy shit! Her. Don't eat us! We're Don't not eat gonna us. hurt really? you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. They're talking. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Neighbor. Just some guy. Her babysitter. I'm Just not some babysitter. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's hey. get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Push, push, push. I like how the screen take too long. For just yeah. some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I think it came out, what, 2014? If I remember correctly. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice oh to meet God. you both. 2012? Good lord. Dang, it's been 10 years? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Ha! Huh. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just huh. you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Do you know this man? Yes. Aww. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Wait! Mm. Let's have a look. Let's for? have a look. Yeah, this is sworn to hell. Could be worse. It hurts like it hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. It is Herschel! How'd this happen? Uh, car. car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? <laughs> prison <laughs> uh, I was getting I out of Atlanta the news says stay yeah, yeah. Well, that's a mistake we exactly. hit a guy one of those things you've been hearing about 
on the road. Who are you with, the girl? Police I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Yeah. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Man, hey, Dad. You know. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows <laughs> how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, a girl with her gut spilled out? I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Definitely sounds like Churchill. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> her, we'll her clean face. it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be <laughs> preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. <laughs> we'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. A big red barn. A big red barn. It and smells like... Poo. Shit. <laughs> Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like plops. that. Plop, 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 I miss plop. my mom and dad. Aww. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Savannah, Georgia? Okay. That's pretty far. Well, it's far, but it's not like states away. I love you, baby. <laughs> Push her out of a window? That's what it sounds like. Hey, get up. Dale? No, that's not his name. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Ken, Ken, yeah, Kenny. Ken, That's my I'm boy, sorry, Ken. Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Uh... Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> Dad! See? <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um... I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the <laughs> tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can I mean, keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Can visit. Seems kind of small, actually. I don't know. 
I mean, I, I, I get it's one thing from the show and another from the comic book and everything. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. So, Ford? No, I'm just kidding. Hey there, <laughs> uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Shots. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. I don't know how I... I yeah, I don't know. A, a boat doesn't really seem like a good idea. Only because... Like, I, you have I such know. pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. Uh, How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we. The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism <laughs> is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh. Back in a bit. Okay, My bad. Lee. Sorry. Right. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Don't I'm the touch. Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Actually, lift with your legs. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure thing, buddy. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I don't know why you would have to lie about it. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Oh. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks.
And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Aww. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. That's so nice. Thank you. Herschel with a pitchfork? That ain't scary. <laughs> I don't remember Sean. Yeah, I don't remember Sean. Uh, okay. How'd you yeah. get out of Atlanta? Uh, I got a ride and ride. then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never <laughs> was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh... My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. What? I'll give you a piece of advice. Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Got that ride to make it if you want it. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of messed up to kind of blame it on Lee. I mean, he was trying to help. Well, 
This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, not friendly. Fuck! Better start running. We're trapped! Better start running! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. You could be fucking dangerous too. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he, or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've Sorry. got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, I don't know can what you to believe say. this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My <laughs> son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? <laughs> Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. How did you not he see He wasn't them? bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end bit. this now. Over my dead body, oh, fuck you, eh? we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Uh, dad, it's just uh, a boy. Uh, uh, uh. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end what? of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck, fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's not about? even bitten. He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. Oh, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Little boy, <laughs> before you eat <clears throat> your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Dude, this guy's. I'm gonna kill this him, guy's cat. Got an issue. Just worry this about This guy's duck. got fucking issues. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. He's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, <laughs> I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the this first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh, no. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? 
Well, come on! <laughs> you better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fucking had one of your time! Oh, oh, come on, Lee, really? That's like the fucking like, third, fourth time you fell already. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, hi. You son of a bitch! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Ah. Man. Okay. Okay. You okay? I am now. great, thanks. You had one in here this whole time. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dude, this fucking Dad! Shot ah! Ah! Is he dying now? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. You this ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, so I can what I can. He fucking definitely sounds like You know like your it. way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Dude! Oh, we'll that's cool. right! Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's oh. your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep Lily a good eye Larry? on her. These boys uh -huh. will work on getting you your medicine. Married with That's children, right. married you, with you children. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, Carly you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get oh, him those oh, pills. Oh, she did not like that, did she? <laughs> oh. You snooping. What's that? Oh, energy bar. Pick it up. Yeah, energy bar. Yeah. Hi, Clementine. It's, it's oh, not much, but there. here you go. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Hey. Yeah. How you doing, Clementine? Hey there. How you doing? Hi. Can, Can get I you uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. Oh. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. you need some hair products? <laughs> uh, so, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, each other. yeah I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. You're not really all that good with good kids, are you, right now, are you, bud? Despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> Uh, we'll sit tight. Go ahead and okay. just I don't really think we need to see how he's doing. Ooh, a second one. Let's give this one to Duck. Another one? Damn. It's three. Yeah. We three. can't. It's not much, but here. For the board. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. 
thank you, Lee. <sighs> um, how's I'm it doing? stuck to him. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Uh... Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. Ooh, but you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Yeah, that would suck. Uh, What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. <laughs> I wasn't around like, much. Not now, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Oh, poor kid. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Sure thing. Bud. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on I our did. hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Grab his kid. Try to let it go. Yeah. Grab his kid is probably the smartest choice. I, mean, I don't really remember Sean. He's not. I don't think he's in the show. Or was it in the comic book that long? I don't remember. But we just need to get back know, to man. Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't think it was like. Oh! Uh, it's not like I can have it. I'm not sure. I'm sure. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's. Good. Get one. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. <laughs> She's not a dog. Thanks. <laughs> You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Yeah. The dude on blast, I guess. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Uh... Power. Nothing. Okay. Batteries? Nope. There are no batteries in this thing. What <laughs> now? You know that there are what no now? batteries in that thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really no. know what to look for. Well, you see, there's this thing called double A, and there's this thing called triple A. Uh, battery. Yeah. Batteries. Yeah, batteries. Okay. Yeah, one battery. Uh... Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those battery. things out there? There you go. Two batteries. Here's where I'm gonna find them. Uh, let's try now. This battery should fit the radio. 
Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Mm, did you make sure they put him in the right way? <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she freaking puts them in the wrong. Okay. Antenna. There you go. And turn it around. And then power button. Yeah! You fixed it. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals Central you suspect may step. have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Oh. Hey, Carly. That doesn't sound good. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have, don't to, have be. to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some See? people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. I guess. It's one way to look at it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it didn't sound all that great, so... How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. No shit. Really? I didn't know that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. Yeah, well... Uh, I'm, gonna... I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna... I'm just not gonna make it worse. <laughs> oh, That's gonna suck. There's nothing I need in here. Find anything? photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. Uh, You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Happened. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Fucking life sentence? I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, I don't think so. No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. 
Oh, possible love interest. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's move this pallet. Stick. It's a stick. What's that? This was my dad's cane. Okay. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Duh. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually Fine, saw him whoop shoplifters with it. Yep. His cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. So your dad's just smart like that. <laughs> better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> her, her face. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, no. um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <sighs> you didn't answer my question. Uh... All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. I think, it, I think it's. And what happened? He, he and it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to I mean, talk to my family. Carly already spoke. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oops, Daisy. I'll find you a bandage. Good thing there's a first aid kit. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Did she like rip it open or something? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. That's what. Oh, Diego Clementine. Yeah. Ooh. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh... I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. Exactly. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I mean, you... It's the I remote to my dad's TV. Kind of have to respect Lee for that, you know? Like, he didn't have to take care of her. He could have just easily left her. And she would have probably, I don't know, That's starved. what I figured. Or get bit. So. Uh, I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. Door it's locked. Really locked? Yeah. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Oh, that looks like 
that's about it then. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. Yes. You're not bad, right? I uh why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, not exactly. No, no he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. I mean, come on, the guy cheated, or the guy, he caught the guy cheating on, no, caught his wife cheating on him with him. That did not make sense. In, in my mind, it made sense. I know what I was trying to say. Uh, Doug. I need to talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Doug, Doug. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, sure. Uh, Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Gee, you think? No, I thought we were just gonna host a party, you know, and have a, a party with humans and 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 uh, zombies. Jesus. <laughs> They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Um, that guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo his worked brother. out. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Uh, control. Your infrastructure remotes used to do that. You'd have to like put in Think a code with the buttons with and. You know what I could do? What's that? Dougie it's knows. Universal. See? I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Dougie's smart. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. How many codes did you have to know? Mm, well see, fucking see. done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. Mm, but not though. enough. Can't reach that brick. Um, we should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here? The photograph, dumbass! I just showed it to you. How'd you end up here? No, uh, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? It's on the computer. <laughs> I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. It's not like they were his family or anything. Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get much done out here. Uh, 
How's your finger, Cleo? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. <laughs> you know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Aww. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Talk to Carly. Hi, Carly. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Oh, yeah. yeah. In a minute. Oh, okay. sh let me know. <laughs> no, stop it. Damn game. You ready to head out? You got it. You? No, I'm just yeah. asking. Let's go. Figured I would just ask, just in case, you know? Wait, how did it head out? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Shall Get down! I... You. You eat. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Glenn totally, totally doesn't, you know, have a. Okay, this is what, the plan. Better than worse. I don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah. Boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. What? Uh. Oh shit. Okay. One, two, three, I saw four, one five. On the other side of that car. Hello. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Um, this way? Yeah. Go, go, go. Chuck. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Oh no, to move closer. Screwdriver. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You know, just just put the pillow up to the window and smash it. Does it say shit Get happens? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Get him! Think. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> you too though. Uh, yeah. Check this out, see what we got. Alright, gear. So you can make it ram him. What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? Ooh, spark plug. It was a spark plug. Spark plug. <laughs> you should hold on to that. 
coming in. Okay. Now push. Boink. That's awesome. Oh, come on. You know that's so unattractive. Let's be honest. You need to find a. No Let's shit. Looking around. Hold on now. Throw the spark plug? Yeah, throw the spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The place on inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That works. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it is ice pick. I don't that know. Like pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. We need to get that guy. So we gotta go all. HTV. Pro H means what? What H stands for? Get his ass right on the top of his head, like <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get the other guy. Oh shit, there's one there. <laughs> Almost forgot about him. Uh, get him. Ready? Here he comes. Get ready to stop. What? Oh, come on. What's in the head, Lee? I should know better than that. Yeah, the pink axe to the face. And now it's gone. <laughs> Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that nice <laughs> big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now yeah. we've got this. Yeah, now you can grab the axe. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Where are we going? In circles. Just kidding. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Oh, come on, you know they so would have seen you by now. There it is. Come on, bitch. Let's go. One, two. <laughs> Get mutton chop. <laughs> Rad. Alright. Break down the door. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Wait, it's locked. Wait, why is it locked from the outside? How the fuck did she even get in there if it's locked from the outside? Oh, God, dude. She clearly doesn't want to go. Stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... Oh, I shit. said stay she's away. Bitch. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. That's how you You get turn, sick dude. and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Oh my god. 
Just leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Yeah. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Come on, Carly. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody Just... needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Oh, no. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. And then getting the fuck out of here. How are hey, we doing? Kenny. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. <laughs> he really does not like him. Oh, man. Hey, Carly. Yeah. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Yeah, she's probably not happy with me right now. <sighs> How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're <laughs> probably better off breaking it if you have to. Uh, okay. Okay. That Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. We know you Good. don't, Glenn. We know you don't. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? It's her choice. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I Not think it was bitten. over for Glenn. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we still gotta get the keys. And his brother has the keys outside. Alright, oh, well, let's go get him. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. I'm starting to notice that they it changes buttons. Yeah.
Oh, that'd be awesome. so much louder. Now to distract those things carefully. We gotta, we gotta get the brick. We gotta open this to get the brick. There you go. Now let's smash the TV. Test the weight. Yes, sir. <laughs> Voila! Now's the time. Run. Come on. Be careful. Well, Keep an eye out, will you? Come on, me. Come on, me. Come on, Lee. <sighs> Jeez. The head, dumbass. <sighs> Bro, the head, not the neck. Thank you. Good God, man. So fucked up. God. <laughs> Those subtitles, though. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if you would have did it right the first time, would have had this issue. Holy crap! Run! Oh shit! <laughs> I feel like. Oh, I thought it was Doug that might have got them to notice him, but I guess it was the man hitting his. Man, that was close. But we did it. Close. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. <laughs> yeah, totally forget about the last, like, 15, 20 minutes that just happened. <laughs> Better it down with an axe. <laughs> Yay! Let's do it! Oh, oh shit. no. Shit. We gotta <laughs> hurry. <laughs> oh, see? Here they come. Every zombie for miles would have heard that. Yeah, that place place is a pack of zombies. Watch. Yeah. Yep. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, <laughs> take Duck into the office and Billy barricade Dally. the living hell out of Nobody the door behind me. Anymore. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. 
stay away from the windows. Lev, we need your help. Please hurry. Oh, shit. Lee, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, dog. Doug. <laughs> no, we don't make it through this. You should know. Oh, oh, shit. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, I... Are you sure? Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay, then. Time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handle? The handle. Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh, close it, 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 Get the gun, get the gun. Oh, I'm so sorry, dog. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. And I'm assuming that's what starts the course for the TV show, then. <sighs> She's so pissy. You do what you gotta do. You gotta yeah. do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, 
See you around. That's different. She gave up because she was bit. If she wasn't bit, she wanted to give up. That's something completely different. You have the opportunity to live on in this situation. Yeah, see, it does say, it does say shit happens. But, I don't know. If you're bit, something like on your torso, that's, that's not. That's it. It's game over. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me yeah, up. Yeah, because I'm fucking No hilarious. problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. That's Larry's fault. I think man. you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Uh, Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. Thanks, man. You got it. Yeah, you're a cool dude. Thank you, Kenny. I needed that. Fucking duck, dude. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... Dork. I think that I liked him. <laughs> Well, I'm Should've. sure he liked you, too. Yeah. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, <laughs> I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? Desire. How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah. I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? I wish Me too, Carly. I had a better answer. I mean, if she died, the gun wouldn't... She would have the gun. I know, I know. It's messed up, but still. Fuck Larry. Pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, <laughs> and then... Hey, Duck, uh... You want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. No, Ooh. fuck you. Let me go deal with this. Fuck oh this man, guy, Clementine, fuck this another guy. thing. What do you want? You yeah. like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? Or what? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. This fucking hey, Lee? Do you have a second? <laughs> uh, My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Appreciate it, I guess. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Saying?
I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was bit. You went out of your way to side against him. This is a good an asshole! No more, please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Damn! What the fuck? Honestly, lied to Hirsch. Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> you and fifty-four percent of players are honest. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and thirty percent of players chose Duck. <laughs> Loyalty said with Kenny. You and fifty-four percent of players offended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 47% of players gave her the gun. Who would you save? Doug or Carly? 48? That's it? More people saved Doug? Why? Well, I mean, I don't know. I tried to save them both. I swear, I tried. I was going to, but she also had the gun. <sighs> anyway, um... Watch for this first uh, for if you've been watching this song. Um, I tried, <laughs> so I actually finished this episode before. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Uh, I'm definitely gonna end this video right here after this one because <laughs> there's a lot of shit to unpack, especially for this next episode. So. Um, Thank you guys so much if you watched the whole video. Um, if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. You hit that like button, um, and subscribe button, the whole shebang. All right, guys, this is Dubex. I'll see y'all later. What's up, everybody? If you like that video, go click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscription button and the bell for future notifications on all videos. All right, guys, this is Dubex signing off. Later.